Borek? <coughs> Captain B. This is a crisis. A large crisis. In fact, if you've got a moment, it's a 12-storey crisis with a magnificent entrance hall carting throughout, 24-hour <laughs> portridge and an enormous sign on the roof saying, this is a large crisis. <laughs> a large crisis requires a large plan. Get me two pencils and a pair of underpants. <laughs> right, Bolwick. This is an old trick I picked up in the Sudan. We tell HQ that I've gone insane and I will be invalided back to Blighty before you can say a wibble. <laughs> Poor gormless idiot. Well, I'm a poor gormless idiot, sir, and I've never been invalided back to Blighty. <laughs> yes, Lordy, but you never said a wibble. <laughs> now, ask me some simple questions. Right. What is your name? Wibble. <laughs> what is two plus two? Oh, wibble, wibble. <laughs> Where do you live? London. Hey. A small village on Mars, just outside the capital city. Wibble. <laughs> All the men present and correct, sir. Ready for the off, eh? I'm afraid not, Lieutenant. I'm just off to Hartlepool to buy some exploding trousers. <laughs> Come again, sir. Have you gone barking mad? Yes, George, I have. Cluck, cluck, jibber, jibber, my old man's a mushroom, etc. <laughs> Go send a runner to tell General Melchett that your captain has gone insane and must return to England at once. But, sir, how utterly ghastly for you. I mean, well, you'll miss the whole rest of the war. Yes, very bad luck. Beep. Right. Beep. Now, Baldrick, I'll be back as soon as I can. Papa. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't excite him. Fat chance. <laughs> now, all we have to do is wait. Baldrick, fix us some coffee, will you? And try to make it taste slightly less like mud this time. Not easy, I'm afraid, Captain. Why is this? Because it is mud. <laughs> we ran out of coffee 13 months ago. So every time I've drunk your coffee since, I have, in fact, been drinking hot mud. <laughs> With sugar. <laughs> Which, of course, makes all the difference. Well, it would do if we had any sugar, but unfortunately we ran out New Year's Eve 1915. Since when, I've been using sugar substitute. Which is? Dandruff. <laughs> Brilliant. Still, I could add some milk this time. Well... Saliva? No. <laughs> no, thank you, Baldrick. Call me Mr Picky, but I think I'll cancel it. <laughs> That's probably cos you're mad, sir. <laughs> well, quite. <laughs> well, I didn't go down at all well, I'm afraid, sir. Captain Darling said they'd be along directly, but, well, you better be pretty damn doolally. Don't worry, George, I am. OK, OK. 